All right, so I just want to clear some stuff up. Okay, Gregorian calendar was 1752. It's not the Bronze Age. It was like after the Iron Age. Just little details. When you're on a rant, sometimes you just don't... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just go with the flow. So, this morning I woke up, did some stuff, but I'm just like checking out some things again. I, you know, I found that Matthew Nicholson guy again. I remembered him. Like, blown away by his content. Everyone should be blown away by that content. And then I looked up, uh, I don't know, just like randomly scrolling down my homepage again, found these other channels that were talking about like uh, HHO or like water gas. I've heard of water gas before, but then this dude, whatever his name is, whatever, I'll put the link here, whatever. Pretty cool. It's like using like a settling torch, but instead of using like, you know, like fossil fuel gases to cut shit and like bring it up to a certain temperature, he's just using water gas. You can pass your hand through it and cut steel and whatever, right? So he's also using that to fuel. An electric motor, like a magnetic motor, or like just like with Gerald Moray and stuff, you need some kind of electric component to get it started. And once it gets started, you can turn off the electric component, or, or else it feeds the electric motor. And that's what Gerald Moray does. Gerald Moray needs to kickstart the the engine to run at a certain RPM, so that when it starts producing electricity, it runs back into the motor and everything's fine, right? What this guy was doing is like he was using the uh, the water gas plugging it into a motor, had like, you know, electric start on a belt, and then takes the belt off, and the engine's running just fine. And he was saying something about, like, it's the same thing as natural gas, except that, you know, it's not, like, <laughs> ruled by the monopoly of the oil company, okay? So, like, everything you can do with natural gas, you can do with water gas. He came up with a way of turning, like, what, one liter of water into, like, uh, two, 20,000 liters of gas, water gas, I don't... Don't quote me. I just watched it once. I'm a little blown away. It's pretty cool. So I don't know anything about motors or engines or cars and stuff like that. I have never tinkered with that stuff. I, Not my field, okay? I am like motor retarded. Totally fine with that. But I do see the application of using like a part of this. So basically when he showed, the, like, I think it was a picture of the motor. It definitely, he kept saying this is not a perpetual motion machine. This is a perpetual motion machine. And I think that the only reason that you are unable to use this, like, so again, sorry, let me just take it apart here. So take off the solenoid, you know, pull out the wheel. And what's going on is that he looks, it looks like he has something exactly like this. Now, if I were to pull out the heaven, okay, let's just pretend. Okay, so like again, there's like. Mm. Here's your magnet. Okay, so the thing he had on his wall looked kind of like this. Okay, it looks like he had a little motor here going to a bigger flywheel kind of thing with a bunch of like magnets that were just like, you know, going around. And that was his, you know, magnetic motor. Okay, I get that. Gerald Morin does the same thing. It's all about 1 14th of a perpetual motion machine because. Remember I kept saying that if I get the six faces working, I don't think it's going to work. I think it'll only work if I have again, the three rings of your XYZ, okay? The three rings of the XYZ. But again, I, I, I can't. Constructs don't work this way, so I'd have to have another ring going all the way around here and here because those would be needed for the eight vertices, okay? To run the bearings from and the axles from. So, remember I kept saying if I'm going to build it, I'm going to build it right and build it once and build it, like, the proper way? I think it has to be complete in the proper depiction of the Earth. <laughs> if you don't do the right thing, I don't think it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, you can get frustrated. So, that's why it's taken me all this time and all this, like, deliberation to, like, conclude what I've been doing, okay? This is entirely a perpetual motion machine, okay? This is entirely based on nothing but magnets. There are no electronics other than the sensors required to collect the energy which is generated by the rotation via the... Because energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be collected and harvested, okay? Just like fruit, okay? Or whatever, vegetables. Animals even, you can harvest them because that's what I call it. I, I harvested the chickens, right? I don't want to get about that food stuff, but I'm just saying that you are the human resonance of the Earth is like seven point whatever five six seven eight. I don't details again. I'm my mind is so all over the place. Sometimes I remember the I forget the simplest things. So 
you are harnessing the electric, like the the frequency of the earth that is all around us all the time. That's what this is doing. It's like what he was talking about with the with the with the H H O or the water gas is that it creates like a vacuum. And if you were to spark it or whatever, nothing blows up. It would just basically create a vacuum back to the the water gas source and it would implode and it would just go like pfft. Like you blew a fuse, but the, you know, the component would be busted, you have to replace it. But I mean, very interesting, very safe. Again, he's using magnets to perpetuate rotation once rotation has been established via another system. Maybe like electron electric starter or something, or he might have other systems, I don't know, I just watched it like 40 minutes ago. So... There's a difference between what Gerald Moore is doing and what this other guy's doing, uh, name. And, you know, he, he came up with this in 1999. And he's saying that, yeah, okay, the, the, the manufacturers of the engines are the ones tampering with the computer systems on the car to not run efficiently. Because I guess they have some kind of, like, Bilderberg schedule on how many gallons per mile your vehicle's allowed to go this year and then next year and the next year because they're architecting society they can probably they, yes i'm not gonna say probably they know how to make free fuel for your cars your motor vehicles your transportation but like i said i don't want to stay on the ground why would i stay on the ground why could if i could create infinite energy why would i want to stay on the ground and like why would we want to maintenance roads and all that i'm trying to think like you know m plus like 28 or something but i'm just you know like your nazi your nazi flying saucers and like that attack general bird it's cool but again i don't mind being wrong okay I, this is a perpetual motion machine this is not going to be put in a car i don't think that the uh, constant deviation of stability. It'd have to be in some crazy box that when your car moved, the thing wouldn't move or something to maybe it wouldn't slow it down because there is resistance. When this is running in perpetual motion, it, it reaches equilibrium. If you start tilting it, you're messing with the equilibrium. So this has to, this is like the home unit or something, or this is, I don't even know what this would be. I don't know if this was just like, like he's talking about vacuums and water gas and like black, black holes. And I, I don't know what this is. So like, I, I, I see, I've said this before. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I... This could do anything. This could break the world. Like, I don't know. This could, like, merge the firmaments or something and create what happens in Revelation 16 to create a 33-dimensional cell of Armageddon. Once it gets in operation. Maybe the, what they've been doing is they know about this and they're taking little aspects of it using, you know, like, electric and, uh... And all those different components to... Why is it all busted? To... Uh, harness this power, but using motors and electronics and all that stuff that I have no clue about. Okay, I, I don't build cars. I did not do mechanical engineering. I don't know anything about that. That's not a hobby of mine. I really don't like vehicles anyways because I know that they cost me a lot of money when they break and they always break because they're designed to fail just like everything else. If you think we can go to space and go to the moon... But we can't make a goddamn washing machine that lasts more than five years because it's engineered to fail. Because there's that little plastic part in there that you can't get at. And it's made to be like milled certain thinness or thickness. And it's brittle material so that after a certain amount of time you're going to have to replace the washing machine. Because we have to keep capitalism going. we got to line the pockets of our controllers. That's neither here nor there. So I'm pretty excited that I know that I'm doing something that others have not done. Okay, I'm doing a lot of theory. I'm doing a lot of math. I'm looking at ancient signs and symbols or just like ancient text or just a publicly accepted truth about religion. I see the signs and symbols in all the, like not all the, but I'm generalizing here, but in, like I see signs and symbols in like the ancient Egyptian stuff or like the Mayan stuff or like whatever Chinese Indian cultures like there I don't know what they're called because I, I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes but those are the secrets that I'm after that secret hidden knowledge now I know that 
people like the Frankenstein stuff. Like I keep saying junkyard wars and people like to like, you know, make humans like to make solutions using complicated methods because I guess that's what we think. Like it, if it was easy, everyone would do it. So if we make it complicated and, and we can patent it and it's our creation and we can make money off of it and sell it to everybody else and blah, 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 blah. And it's required because there's no other way to, to do this, right? This is simply a perpetual motion machine. That would be, I would say, the cornerstone of any house, right? Like, where would I want this? People say, like, I'm buried underground in the basement in a cement box with just nothing but wires coming out of it so that it's safe. I would have this in my living room instead of a fireplace behind glass operating because it would be awesome to see. Like, maybe if it made noise vibration or something they would you maybe want to insulate it in a box like i don't know what kind of sounds it's going to make i don't know how fast it's going to spin i don't understand the like i don't even know what a ceramic bearing looks like i know i want ceramic bearings but need to like basically how do you make a wooden ring and on four corners of the wooden ring fit in these ceramic bearings like you got to have to make a holder because you're going to want to replace the bearings if need be. So, that's what, I, that's what I think. But, I'm excited. I'm excited because this is not like what is out there on the internet already. You know, like, guys' videos have been out there since 1999. You know, like, I've, everyone's seen videos on the internet about old men making free energy generators out of water. And then, of course, they get, like, killed or, like, have mysterious heart attacks in their farmer's field and stuff. And, like... People can't believe that some people aren't dead yet because of the, the, the havoc it would cause to the capitalist society and the economic markets of America, the global powerhouse, right? Because America's fiat currency is just based on the petrodollar. It's based on oil. It's based on raping Gaia, Mother Earth, whatever, Aria. It's just the Freemasons like to keep us slaves, keep our minds numb and dumbed down with whatever fluoride and stuff, just different, very <sighs> mischievous and cynical and like psychopathic methods to keep us down. So, in conclusion, again, I do think that what other people are doing, like Gerald Moray, I wish I knew this guy's name, but I just watched it and I had to turn on the camera right away because you gotta live in the now. These people, and there are probably more like them, and there are probably more and more and more people like them, okay? Like he said, like the universities didn't want to get on board with his idea. No shit, the university doesn't want to get on board with his ideas. The university doesn't want to get on board with my idea. Obviously, guy. Obviously. Because this speaks too much truth, of secret hidden truth, okay? The truth that they're finding with these little free energy devices that use motors and stuff, like, I'm pretty sure that you could probably not need an electric motor to start it. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just use your hand and, like, spin it, and it would have some kind of gearing ratio where it would build up and then have enough to turn on whatever it needs to do and then activate. Like, even, like, when you got a guy with a bunch of light bulbs and the thing, and he's like, like, that, I, there could be anything underneath, you know, you don't know, you didn't lift it up, you don't. It's just, obviously, there are ways to use motors and magnets to get free energy, okay? I am, and, like, this water gas stuff as a fuel is just, I'm, like, uh, I'm, you know, two-thirds water. That's what planet Earth is, so we're not going to run out of water. And what's the, uh, what's the byproduct of water gas? Water. <laughs> fuel efficiency. Like, but, you know, he still needs batteries in his vehicle because you have to have batteries. He said, he said that. You like, once your batteries die, you change your batteries, put new batteries in. Well, that's pollution. You know, batteries, batteries are kind of gnarly little things. But it's kind of cool that you can take it like a gas engine, put in this to a drive shaft, where you go. Okay? Like, these are all good things. So, I just wanted to say that I think what I'm onto is completely different than the other free energy devices or magnetic motors out there. Or people working on these things because they're working on one face. They're trying to harness the energy from one face. And I'm trying to put 14 together. 
I think that's the only way it can really be done because you have to achieve balance.